we again would like to welcome Senator Tim Scott as a guest speaker today. The last time he participated on our Memorial Day, he was a congressman. He was appointed as United States Senator for the state of South Carolina by Governor Haley after former Senator DeMint resigned to join the Heritage Foundation. Senator Scott is well respected by his constituents and colleagues and is serving at a very critical time in our nation's history. I understand you have a very busy schedule today, sir, but I appreciate you spending the time to come out and speak with us. Senator. Thank you very much, sir. Well, God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Amen. We've got a lot to be thankful for in this country. And because of men and women like you and others around here, we are standing here before you today. I will tell you that yesterday, myself and my veterans officer had an opportunity to go to Charlotte yesterday and hang out with 10,000 American soldiers, many of whom had just come back from Afghanistan. It was an amazing sight to see all these amazing soldiers who put their lives on the line day in and day out to make sure that we get to appreciate and experience some of the very simple freedoms that we take for granted here today. But I will tell you that one of those individuals was not Private First Class Barrett Austin from Easley, South Carolina. Because Private First Class Barrett Austin on April 17th in Afghanistan at 20 years old made the ultimate sacrifice, gave his life for the United States of America. He, he gave his life because he believed and loved freedom. I had the privilege several weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, to speak to his father about getting his son home, making sure that the transfers happened. I will tell you that talking to Mr. Austin about his son Barrett, was one of the most moving experiences of my life. Because what Mr. Austin was talking about was his young son who voluntarily gave his life because he loved America. Because he loves what we stand for and he loves who we are and he loves where we're going. And he took a strong stand on behalf of this amazing country. And so when we celebrate Memorial Day today, we celebrate the men and women who gave their lives for the greatest country God ever crafted on earth. And I will tell you, as I was driving here and thinking about the impact and the power of men and women who, who are here with us today who served their country and served it well, the only thing I could think of truly was the scripture. We are all familiar with John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave. And it reminded me of Barrett Austin, that he so loved this country that he gave. You see, the ultimate sacrifice isn't duty. The ultimate sacrifice that our soldiers die for and put themselves in harm's way is for love. It's for love of the country. It's for love of their families, it's for love of people they never met. It's because they have a conviction, a sense of destiny that says that if they put themselves in harm's way, the rest of us can enjoy the privilege of freedom. You see, for men and women like Barrett, freedom isn't free at all. It's the ultimate sacrifice. And I look around, as I did a couple of years ago, standing in this spot, but it was a whole lot hotter. I'll tell you, we were sweating like pigs over here, but today we are blessed with a little, a little, a little shade. But I will tell you that those men, I, I watched those guys running around yesterday in probably 95 degrees on that track, in full uniform, back sacks on their backs, not a, not, not a drop, not a drop of sweat anywhere to be found on those young men and women. They love our country. Every Memorial Day and every single day of the year, we should remember that men and women who love our country put their lives in harm's way. It is our opportunity, it is our privilege, and it is our obligation to say thank you on this day that used to be Decoration Day 
as General Logan called it in 1868. This day, we are privileged to stand, sit, and say thank you to those folks who make America the greatest nation ever possible. Thank you.